Okay, get ready for working in the math textbook, but before we do so, we will revise very quickly one more time. We can add tens and hundreds using models. When you adding tens, you can draw or add more tens, like in this case. You have 645 and you're adding 30. That means three tens. Now, the number of tens will change. It will not be four, but you will add three more tens. Four plus three equals seven. So, you will have the number 675. Now, when you adding hundreds, you add hundreds digits. Here, 6, 100, 45, plus 300. You adding 600 plus 300. How much is 6 plus 3? It will be 9. So, 900 will, will be hundreds and 45 will stay. It will be 945. When you're taking away, you can also use the models. When you have number 368 and you have to take away 200, you cross out 200 blocks. How many hundreds you will have left? Only 100. Tens and ones will stay the same. When you're taking away tens, you will take from tens blocks. Hundreds will stay the same. Tens digit will change, six blocks, six tens will change to four tens only, and ones will remain the same. So the number will be 348. 348. One more time. When you adding 20 tens, you add two blocks of 10. The hundreds digit stays the same. 400 will stay the same. 7 will be more because 7 plus 2 equals 9 and 3 digits will stay the same. The answer will be 493. When you adding hundreds, you add hundreds. The hundreds digit will change. Number 4 will change. 4 plus 2 equals 6. The tens and ones will stay the same. So you will have 4 plus 2 equals 6, and 73 stays the same, 673. Again, when you're taking away hundreds, you will take one block of hundred away. So, 500 will change to 400. Tens and ones stays the same, 446. When you're taking tens, you will take one ten away, hundreds and ones stays the same. Only tens digit will change. Number four is tens digit. It will change, you will take one away. It will become three. So five, three, six, 536. You can use also mental math. 473 plus 20. Again, 20 is two tens. Tens digit. The seven, number seven, is also tens digit. So you will add these two numbers together. Hundreds and ones will stay the same. So the answer will be 400. Seven plus two is nine. Ninety-three. Four hundred ninety-three. When you're adding hundreds, you adding the hundreds digits. Two hundred the 2 is in the 100 digit and 400 is 4 in 100 digits. 4 plus 2 equals 6. The tens and ones will stay the same. So 6 and then 73. 673. Now when you're taking away hundreds, again the hundreds digits is this one. You will take 5 minus 1. How much is 5 minus 1 it is four, so you will have four hundreds. Tens and ones stays the same. When you taking away tens, you take away from tens digits. Number four is in the tens digits, so four take away one will be three. The hundreds and ones stays the same, so the answer will be 536. You can use also place value chart. 673. 
When you're adding hundreds, you add and change only hundreds digit. 6 plus 2 will be 8. 873. The tens and ones stays the same. When you're adding tens, the tens digits will change. Six, the hundreds digit and ones digits will stay the same. So 7 plus 2 equals 9. 7 will change to 9. 6 and 3 will stay the same. 6 and 3 will stay the same. Only tens digit will change. Now let's go and work in your book. Open up on page 397. We have 471. Take away 10. 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7 tens. We need to take 1 ten away. Cross it out. How many you will have left? You can see that 100 stays the same. So how many hundreds you will have left? 400 you will have left. Now tens will change because from tens, seven tens you had before, but you took one ten away. How many you have left? Now you have left only six tens, right? And how many ones you will have? That will not change. It stays the same. One once. So... See, 461 is the answer. Now we're going to take away 100. 400. 400. 71. Take away 100. These are hundreds digits. 4. Take away 1. Put your four fingers up and take 1 away. How many will you have left? You will be left with 3, right? Now, when you're taking hundreds, only hundreds digit will change. The tens and ones will stay the same. So, you will copy them after number three. Seven and one. Seventy-one. Let's go and do the next one. 580 take away 50. Here you have 500 blocks and 80. Eight tens blocks. Now we're going to take 50. 50 means how many tens? 5 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's cross them out. 5 tens. What, will be ha what we will have left? 100 stays this. Oh, and we have no ones. Can you see that? That means the ones will be 0, right? So we have 500 left. We didn't do anything with hundreds. You will write 500. Now tens will change, right? Because we had eight tens and we took five tens away. How many you have left now? Only three. And how many ones do we have? Zero. That's right, zero. Good. Now we're going to count the hundreds. This is hundred digit. This is hundred digit. We have 580. Take away 500. 500. Take away 500. 5. Take away 5. Put your 5 fingers up and take 5 fingers away. How many will you have left? Zero, right? We don't have to write zero because not no need for zero. We will not write zero. Five minus five is zero. So what will be left? The tens and ones. Eight and zero. The answer will be eighty. Let's go to the next page. Okay, we are going to do the same thing. But here I underline the, or I put the digits in the box, the tens digits and hundred digits. Uh, for tens, I would like to use the models, and for hundreds, I would like to use the mental math. So, 445, 400, 4 blocks of hundreds, 
40, 4 groups of 10, and 5 ones. Now I want you to take 20 away. 20 means 2 tens, right? Cross it out. Do it with me. Cross 2 tens away. Did you do it? Great. Let's count how many hundreds do we have left? We are left with four hundreds because we didn't do anything with hundreds. So we are left with four hundreds. But we don't have four tens like we had before. Now we have only two tens, right? Only two tens. You can also do it like this. Four take away two is how much? It is two. And now, how many ones do we have? Ones will not change. They will stay always the same. So, 425 is the answer. Now, let's take away hundreds. I will use the mental math. When you taking hundreds, you have 400 here. 400. If you take 200 away, you can use digits 4 and 2. 4, take away 2. Put the four fingers up, four fingers up. Now take away, put two fingers down, two fingers down. How many fingers you will have left? You will have left two fingers, right? So 400 minus 200 will be 200 left. What about tens and ones? What will you do with tens and ones? What did I say you need to do? Copy, because when you taking hundreds away, tens and ones will stay the same. Say it with me. When you take hundreds away, tens and ones will stay the same. When you taking hundreds away, tens and ones will stay the same. Now let's do the addition. 286 plus 10. 200. 8 tens means 80. And 6 ones. 86. Now, what do we need to do with addition? Remember addition? Addition means add. Plus means add one more. So, I will use the drawing. I will draw one more. Great. So now, how many hundreds you will have? The hundred stays the same. It will not change. You will have two hundred as it was before. Now you have more tens because you added one. You have eight tens here plus one. Put eight fingers up and add one more. Eight fingers up and one more. Eight. What comes after eight? Nine. So eight plus one equals nine. We will write it here. Now, what about the ones? The ones will stay the same. We never do anything to ones. 296. Now let's do this one using the mental math. Hundreds, we can add them together. 200 plus 100. 2 plus 1 is how much? Put the two fingers up and add one more. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Very good. Now, what we will do with tens and ones? They stay the same. That means you will copy 8 and 6. Repeat after me. When you add hundreds, tens and ones stay, stay the same. When you add the hundreds, tens and ones stay the same. When you add hundreds, tens and ones stay the same. Here you have the correct answer. Done. We have two more, so let's do it quickly. 661 plus 30. You are doing addition. 
plus means you need to add 661. We have 600, then we have 6 tenths, and only 1. You need to add 30. 30 means 3 tenths. I will use drawing. You can draw as well. When you add 3 tenths, you need 3 blocks of 10. I'm not so good in drawing. Are you good? So, let's go and count. Hundreds stay the same. Right? Six. But the tens will change. I will have more now. Six plus three. How much is six plus three? Six, seven, eight, nine. It will be nine tens now. What about the ones? It will stay the same. Let's go and do the hundreds. This is a hundred digit and this is a hundred digit. So we can add them. Use the mental math. Six plus three is how much? Six fingers up. Add three more fingers. Or count on. Six, seven, eight, nine. The answer will be nine. When we add the hundreds, what will we do with tens and ones? They will be the same. So copy six and one. Again, when you add the hundreds, tens and ones stay the same. Let's go and do the subtraction now. 577 tens and three ones. Let's take 40 away. 40 is how many tens? Four tens. Let's go and do it. Four tens away. How many hundreds you will have left? Same as it was. We didn't touch the hundreds. It will stay the same. Now, seven tens minus four tens. How many tens you will have left? One, two, three. Three tens will be left. What about ones? We don't touch the ones. They will stay the same. Let's go do the subtraction using the mental math. These are hundreds digits. Five, take away four. Five fingers up on your hand quickly. Take away four. Put the four fingers down. How many fingers are left? Only one. Very good. What we will do with tens and ones? They will stay the same. Seventy-three. Copy them as they are. So when you subtract the hundreds, the tens and ones stay the same. When you subtract the hundreds, tens and ones stay the same. I forgot I had that one. Yeah. And the answers. We added three hundred. And the answer was like this. Correct answers. Let's go to your workbook. Everyone, open up your workbook on page 129. And it is also R104, I believe. So if you want to take a break, you can take a break. And then continue. Here we go. 446 plus 20. 446 plus 20, we're doing the addition. That means we need to add, we need to add 20. 20 means two tens. I will draw two tens. What will happen to hundreds? The hundreds will stay the same. How many tens you will have now? One, two, three, four, five, and six. You will have six tens. What about the ones? They will stay the same. Six. Let's use the mental math for the hundreds. Four hundred plus two hundred is how much? Four plus two. Four fingers up. Two fingers add. You will have 
six fingers up very good when you add in hundreds what happens to tens and ones they stay the same we will copy four and six well done let's go to the next one we have five hundreds we have thirty eight three tens eight eight ones we taking away thirty thirty means three tens one two three when you take away you cross them out so how many hundreds you have left five five hundreds is left we didn't touch them three take away three three tens take away three tens will be zero and what happens to ones one stays the same now let's do the mental math using the hundreds five fingers up take away three five fingers up put the three fingers down how many fingers do you have left only two when you subtract the hundreds what happens to tens and ones you they stay the same you copy them they stay the same That's it. Let's check the answer. 464, 508, 238. Correct answer. One more page. Let's do it very fast. If you want to do it alone, please do it alone and then check the answers. Stop the video and work on it alone and then play the video again and check if you have the same answers. If you don't want to do, do it alone, do it with me. 362 take away 10 10 means how many tens one what will we have left hundred stays the same 300 now you will not have six tens but only one two three four five tens right that means we will write five and what about ones they stay the same that will be two use the mental math for hundreds Three, take away one. Three fingers up, one finger down. Three, take away one will be two. When you subtract the hundreds, what happens to tens and ones? Tens and ones stays the same. That means copy them. The answer will be 262. Let's go to addition question. 148 plus 40. 148 plus 40, we need to add how many tens? Four tens. One, two, three, four. Four tens. Okay, my pen stopped. Good. What happens to hundreds? Hundred stays the same. And how many tens will I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will have eight tens now. What happens to ones? They stay the same, eight ones. Let's go do the addition using mental math. One plus four. One plus four equals how much? If I have a one apple and you will give me four more, I will have five apples when I add the hundreds what happens to tens and ones they stay the same the answer is 548 let's do the subtraction 594 take away 30 30 means how many tens three tens very good how many hundreds we will have left they will stay the same and how many tens it will not be nine it will be only one two three four five and six six tens left very good what happens to ones one stays the same four let's go and do that subtraction with the hundreds use the mental math five take away three five fingers up and three fingers put them down how many fingers you will have left only two fingers left very good what happens to tens and ones when you subtracting hundreds 
They stay the same. You will copy them. Very good. Let's go to the last one. 433. Add 20. 20 means two tens. You can draw two tens extra. When you're adding, you're adding extra tens. What happens to hundreds? It will stay same. How many hundreds do we have? Four. Now tens will change. We will add one, two, three, four, five. It will become five tens now, right? What happens to ones? One stays the same. Three. Now let's use the mental math for addition of hundreds. Four plus two. How much is four plus two? Four plus two equals six. When you're adding hundreds, what happens to tens and ones? They will stay the same. That means you can copy them and you are done. Let's check the answers. 188, 548, 564, 294. Very good, very good. We are done. We are finished for today. Thank you so much. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.